Hey guys, it's Tom with Symbol Surfing, and today's video is about Peloton. It trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol PTON, and the last price on Peloton is $112.09. And I think that is really interesting because it's 33% below its all time high. And I think it's a really interesting time to buy this stock. And the number one reason is, um, I'm gonna go through four reasons. The number one reason is the price is near the 200 day moving average, which is a very bullish signal. I'm gonna go into that. Also, I wanna look at their latest quarter's earnings. Next is there's this Yahoo Finance article. And number four is I wanna check out the tip ranks ratings uh, for Peloton. So let's look at the disclaimer next. I am not a financial advisor and this YouTube channel does not contain any kind of financial advice. Okay, so I wanna talk first about how the price is near the 200 day moving average. So on symbol surfing, um, if you haven't been on the website before, um, I created it and I use it every day and I use it to find trading ideas fast by browsing popular channels and applying basic chart analysis. So using the channel guide, I jumped over to the prime um, plan channels and down here on the custom screens um, I clicked on this price near 200 day moving average okay so basically these are stocks or ETS for that matter where the price is near the 200 day moving average after hitting a recent high either it could have been a 52 week high a multi hero high or an all time high so these 40 symbols are potentially all great trading ideas and as I mentioned, this is a prime channel and the prime channel has a monthly fee attached to it. So I definitely recommend checking that out. So, but these are actually, these 40 symbols are all potential trading ideas. So I just want to go through these, uh, a few of them real quick. So there's JD.com. This one has been um, uptrending and it hit this high and then it sold off. It's right around this 200 day moving average. Illumina, they have a little bit of a, um, uh, you know, a lot more volatility here throughout the year, but this is a 52 week high and then it sold off quite a bit down to this 200 day moving average. And then this one's Spotify. This one's been uh, uptrending, hit a high and then it sold off, went below the 200 day moving average, which now looks like it's approaching that again. So that one's kind of interesting too. Um, but anyways, the fourth one on the list is uh, Peloton. And um, so this is what I wanted to um, talk about today. and. Um, get into on the video but as you can see it's been um, uptrending over the last year and it hit this um, all-time high here and then um, there was an earnings and then it sold off and um, came down to this 200 day moving average so what I want to do is just go over to um, the symbol here it's symbolsurfing.com slash PTON and I want to look at the chart and look at the 52 week low was at $26.91. The 52 week high and all time high is $169. And that was set on January 13th, 2021. All right, so um, in order to um, get a little bit better perspective on Peloton is I wanna look at the longer term chart. And um, so here we go. So basically um, looks like they went public back in 2019. So this isn't actually a five year chart, but since it went um, public, the total return is like 335%. And what I want to point out is um, shortly after it went public, it hit a new um, all time high, which was a 52 week high, but an all time high kind of um, went sideways a little bit then dipped. And then it came back up and started hitting um, new all time highs. Um, it sold off and it was definitely above the 50 day moving average here and it was just taking out new highs and there's a little bit of selling off as it would get then it would um, hit a new high come down close to the 50 day moving average hit a new high new high new high sell off sell off again and it's still above the 50 day moving average and it was just constantly hitting new high after new high and then um, this point right here is really critical because it was just hitting all kinds of new highs and then this is the first time there was like a major sell off so I don't know the exact price. It might have been like $135 a share here, but it sold off. It broke down through the 50 day moving average to about here, which I think is about $100. Um, and this is a really going to be an important level here as we get closer to talking about the most recent prices. But it uh, broke through the 50 day moving average um, and um, stopped right here and then climbed back up to the 50 day moving average and 
started to take off again and it went up and broke into a new all-time high above this previous one and then hit another all-time high another all-time high another all-time high now we're way far away from the 50-day moving average but it sold off a little bit and then hit another all-time high and this is the one that i'm talking about on january 13th at 169 dollars so um, after that it had the earnings and then it sold off and so for that i want to um, talk about the one-year chart and get into that so um, as I as we talked about so all these are new all-time highs this was this sell-off I talked about this was that hundred dollar price level this is the all-time high and this is the most recent earnings date this is the one before this is the one before that and then this is the one before that so just another way I look at stocks is I like to look at the earnings dates and the prices um, from earnings to earnings. So from this earnings to this earnings, the price is definitely higher. From this earnings to this earnings, the price is definitely higher. And then from this earnings to this earnings, the price is definitely higher. So what happened was um, after this all time high, there was this earnings date. And after this earnings date, the price sold off quite a bit. So it broke through um, the 50 day moving average and it stopped almost like on a dime um, down here at the 200 day moving average um, bounced off of it came back down to the 200 day moving average bounced off it again and then came back down to the 200 day moving average kind of went sideways a little bit and then it's bouncing off the 200 day moving average again so um, the reason why i think this is really important is if i draw another trend line horizontally across around this hundred dollar price point you'll see that um, where the price is now, where this is a new support right here most recently, this was the support back here um, after it, this sell-off at this all-time high at this point. So it hit a new high back here and it had a sell-off, but the sell-off stopped right here. And I think it's really interesting that the sell-off from this all-time high has stopped here. It's kind of going sideways and it's also along the 200-day moving average. And um, so one other thing I'd like to point out is this stock really hasn't had that many sell-offs. I mean, just looking at this one-year chart, um, it's up 295%, which is incredible. So there's basically been this one sell-off, and um, you know, in terms of buying the dip here, it rallied up to a new all-time high, and then now we've sold off again. And I think this is a great time to buy the dip and take another run up uh, higher to take out this all-time high. So why am I saying that? Well, the stock went down 33%. Um, you know, um, that's not good, right? Well, let's see. Um, if we look at this earnings, there must have been something, you know, really horrible in their earnings report, you would think, if the stock went down 33% from this all-time high. So for that, I just want to, um, let's go back. And so I think I covered that 200-day um, moving average. So now I want to go and look at their latest quarter earnings. So in order to do that, we got to go over to Seeking Alpha. And I um, want to just talk about this real quick. So their announced date was um, February 4th. The EPS, the earnings per share actual, was $0.21. Cents. The EPS surprise was they beat by $0.09, cents, which is, um, you know, percentage-wise, that's a huge beat on the earnings per share. The revenue actual was $1.06 billion. And the revenue surprise, it was a beat by 34.87 million. So they beat on their earnings per share and they beat on their revenue. So, um, you know, I didn't go through the whole earnings report, but um, overall right there, those are some very positive things that happened. Okay, so let's look at the Yahoo Finance article to get some more information here. So basically it says, this was on April 1st, Peloton completes pre-core acquisition. And the, the subheadline here is, with the acquisition, Peloton will establish U.S. manufacturing footprint, anticipates enhancing R&D capabilities and accelerating the growth of commercial verticals. So um, this is pretty cool that they've completed this acquisition and maybe um, there's brighter skies ahead here for Peloton as well. All right, and then last up is the tip ranks ratings. So over on tip ranks, um, it's a moderate buy. They have 23 analyst ratings. There's 18 buys, three hold, two sell ratings. 
and the price targets are there's a low price target of $45 there's an average price target of 164 and 24 cents and then there's a high price target of $200 a share So guys, um, that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please click the thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and click subscribe for straightforward tar analysis and ring the bell so you get access to our latest videos. Thanks again for watching.